Hello YouTube. All right, I'm back again. Uh, I'm sorry guys, it was uh, taking forever to put uh, some post some videos because I've been busy selling cars, you know, deal deal with this all the, uh, all this new inventory and also the used car problems. So, all right, well here we go. We are he uh, we are here again. I'm gonna go over with a couple things. So today. I'm gonna show you guys what the 23, um, you know, 2023 Highlander changes pretty much. If you wanna see the full video about the 22 model, so you guys can see uh, compared to 22 and the 23. I do have a, a, my own, uh, you know, my own car, which is I drive a 22 Highlander Platinum. Uh, you guys can watch it. It's actually first ever video. I posted this channel to the, this channel, uh, but today, again, I'm gonna go with a couple things for that beautiful, uh, you know, blueprint color, uh, this this LE Highlander. Well, you know, LE is the kind of entry level, you know, there's L model, but we still have pretty good stuff for the LE model. We get, you know, full LED. You do have a uh, LED fog lights, which is a good touch. Uh, also, you have, um, you know, you're gonna lose the couple chrome stuff, uh, you know, silver accents, especially at this bottom. Uh, but you do have a silver accents here. It's not that crazy looking luxuries, but this is not the mention of that model pretty much because this car is, you know, just an affordable price. It's actually a pretty good price for that, uh, for the category. This car actually costs about a little over 40 grand, uh, so which is actually a front wheel drive model. It depends what model you get it. But however, you do have alloy wheel, which is the 17 inch alloy wheel. You can get different design on the XLE model. Uh, you know, this is kind of gives you a little bit baser model. Like I said, again, this is affordable model. Uh, also, this blueprint color is beautiful on this LE too. You know, the, it's actually overall nice color. As you can see how the shine, the little pearly, you know, blue it kind of changes the color pretty good too uh, and then you will see like i said you don't have a lot of chromes uh you know as you can see it's kind of basal model but you don't get the you know roof rails or anything like that because like i said it's just a base model and also the still have a kind of chrome accents here you know for the door trim and uh surprisingly you do have a standard blind spot monitor for le model which is a great great touch especially uh you know that kind of big car you need to have a blind spot monitor which is a, a very important thing and also the standard sta uh, smart key which is the push button start you have even an l model which is a really nice touch and you do have a remote connect services for that model too i'm gonna go over more details about it when i show you guys interior but so the back as you can see you don't have a, like i said like a chromey stuff just the le model i uh, also still have a led you know lights for your stoplight and then the nighttime lights as you can see it's still a beautiful you know that uh, blue is shine is still showing all right so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna talk about the powertrain first so you know we do have a, a new engine starting this year we have uh let me see if i can show you guys all right so we do have a new engine for this year I'm gonna show you in a minute. So we have 2.4 liter a turbo charge engine, which is no more V6 for uh, 3.5 V6 is gone. But this engine loses couple, uh, you know, about, uh, I think you're gonna lose about 30 horsepower, but you do getting actually pretty good pound of torque. You're getting about 40 to 50 pounds of torque uh, nearly somewhere there which is actually really really nice torque figures you know uh, but it doesn't have the, the v6 sound we're gonna miss but toyota did a pretty good tune pretty good actually for the the engine sound too 
but let's go inside and show you guys the the changes one really nice touch actually you do have power seats uh, eight-way power seats and a menu for the uh, passenger side which is still a really nice touch uh, and the 23 model you do get you know Toyota's uh, newest multimedia system uh, which is the gives you I don't know if I can show you guys gotta get the key but anyway I, I show you guys the what's the new multimedia looks like but that's the new multi multimedia you're gonna get it for that uh, this model here also the you know they upgrade the uh, uh, this year is kind of refresh for Highlander uh, we're gonna get and then this is standard seven inch screen here uh, you can even a uh, le i mean the uh, l model will give you that uh, seven inch screen which is a really nice touch uh before you just needed to get a like you know xle models but now it's standard uh also the get a wireless carplay and wireless entry auto because the new system which is a really really cool features but anyway the le is not uh you know fancy interior but still nice materials you have soft touch you get the you know just a fabric here uh, leather tower and this is pretty much all hard touch this is pretty much uh, looks like a soft touch this is hard and the rest of them is actually uh, soft touch plastic and a leather cover here and uh, surprisingly this is actually hard touch never mind I thought this is a really soft this is a uh, soft touch well, you know, we used to have a charger here. They take the charger, now they put it actually this part, which is the, the XLE model will give you that, uh, you know, or app, uh, like a limited model, XLE, limited XSE models, but the L or LE is missing that feature. You still have a pretty good storage, you know, you get the shelf here, and like I said, very deep storage, as you can see, um, you know, it's kind of big for the segments um also the uh, still have a you know driving modes you know this is a front wheel drive so you don't have the a uh, little bit more stuff which is you know like sand or uh, the that dynamic torque victory all wheel drive that's only for the xse or app like a limited and a platinum so electronic brake you get uh same shifter and then this is the pretty much manual uh, dimming but you do you can get the auto dimming mirror for the XLE models looks like a LED we still get a LED here the updates uh, also the we still get the you know the 22 actual model will give you the type C for the you know charger but we still have the normal ones also which is a nice touch so and then the seats it's a fabric as you can see uh it's pretty premium fabric which is a really soft and a really comfortable seat so whoever wants to get the you know that kind of fabric seats some people hate the leather but uh you know everything is pretty much here same no difference uh let's go back and show you guys what's up in the back door has a really nice sound by the way when you close it so back seats is pretty good uh, as you can see i have a plenty good room uh, leg room and also the uh, this seats is all the way down here pretty much i still have a really nice like i said i drive a highlander i showed you guys what the you know room looks like um but i just wanted to show you again what the little little quick uh, update about the inway 32 uh but once i'm done with this and then uh i forgot to tell you guys uh once one more thing i did say you do get the remote connect so l model is losing the remote connect uh well we we never had it but it's starting ali now you can get a remote connect which is a really nice touch even an affordable price like a remote start too so really good touch toilet out of there if you get l or le model this comes with a standard eight passenger which is you don't get the captain chairs you can get a captain chairs once you get the you know xle it's optional it's going to be optional xle and limited but the uh xsc and uh, platinum will give you only captain chairs if you want to bench seats you have to get the xle limited or standard l and le models anyway uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys the, what's the talk about the the inventory looks like 
gonna go on that. All right, so in total wise, Toyota actually throwing decent cars as a, like uh, like I said, the hybrid Highlanders now coming uh, faster. We getting it. Uh, looks like a green light from there, but again, it's hard to uh, believe, you know, if, if we're gonna have a lot of cars so far, but we'll see what the difference is gonna be. Uh, so far, it's getting, we are getting more hybrid uh, Highlanders. Also the, uh, you know, some Siennas, the cutting looks like it. I don't, I don't know why. Probably that there's still the part shortage. I, I heard it's gonna get better soon, but looks like we are not as, uh, Pretty much our dealership is not getting enough sienna so far but again it's not up to us you know it's not up to me uh whatever we get it's pretty much we got so if you guys have any questions about the anything you went to the app to anything please you can email me you can text me whatever he has more convenient for you uh just uh let me know in the comments so i will um you know any anything uh if any news i will see i will post it about uh, you know what's the inventory situation uh, i can tell you we should get it a corolla uh, gr corollas that's the news actually uh, we i just heard and then uh, our prius will show up soon too uh, which is a really really uh, excited to see that uh, product you know the new prius is faster and it's really nice once i get it this kind of cars i will uh, try my best to show you guys about the videos any questions about the trim level and all that uh so glad to see you guys again um you know let me know anything you guys got any news if you want to share go ahead and put it on youtube i mean the uh comment sh section please and uh we, we will um we'll talk to you guys up there all right thank you so much thanks for supporting don't forget to subscribe bye